food plays such a key part in the best moments in your life. And so for me, yeah, if I get good news, my instinct is to be like, right, we're going out for dinner. So I'm going to tell you about Peking duck from Girong in Rosemead, California. Succulent, juicy bits of meat surrounded by the crispiest skin. It's the best Peking duck I've ever had, ever. Now, for me, Peking duck, I have every year on my birthday back in the UK where I live. And when I came over and started working more in the US and having a few more celebrations going on, I instinctively wanted Peking duck. And I got taken to Girong and it blew my mind. Oh, really, I'm salivating already. So they start really high quality, beautiful, big, juicy ducks, and then pour boiling water onto the skin and this tightens it. And chickpea water contains white vinegar and no sugar. And then you're going to whack it in the freezer for 12 hours. And it freezes it. It keeps all that moisture locked in tight. So when you cook it, you're going to end up with a really juicy duck. It comes out the freezer, eight hours of chill time. Bring it back to room temperature. We're going to go put this into the oven, 400 degrees. 50 minutes, roasted hung. So the meat goes juicy and tender, the fat, they will drip off, and you're left with this crazy, crispy skin that just melts in your mouth. Oh, I'm really hungry. The duck skin is separated from the duck meat. And this duck skin is gleaming because it just wants you to eat it. Did you hear my stomach just then? Mm -mm. Did you pick that up on sound? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm grumbling. It's so good. I serve it with onions, hoisin duck sauce, British cucumber, AKA a cucumber, and these really thin pancakes. You make your little pancake parcel, take a bite. Your mouth just fills with happiness. You get the freshness of the cucumber. You then get spring onions, which has got almost a bit of bitterness to it. You've got the sweetness of the duck, the saltiness in the skin. How do you do this job? I just want to eat.